Ah, yeah, I'm here with Maria Theodore Axley. Now, you're not related to the other Theodore Axley, are you, Mickey? No, I don't think so. No. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, my dad thinks, my dad thinks we are. You could be. We could be. He's never come to a barbecue. Because the Greeks were a bit of a mixed race there for a while. We don't know where we all come from originally. Quite right. Yeah. Uh, let's get back onto now. You're doing uh, Life of Byron. I am. So tell me, what were you doing before Life of Byron? I mean, as in acting, directing, what are some of the things we people might know you from? Uh, recently, I was in a play at the Malt House and I played, uh, you know, a single woman academic. Mm -hmm. um, it was about uh, a, the, a, a different family dynamic, as in, my, my my close family were my two female best friends and my two uh, gay male friends. Mm. And uh, it was looking at different dynamics, but also at the same time looking at the things that bond you, which are universal, love, trust, mm. need. Need. Mm. And we did spook together we did. at the Malt House, where yes, we, we played did. husband and wife. Yes. And we were communists. Communists, mm. Greek communists. So you've got to, you know, you've worked a lot, you've worked in like film, TV, a theatre writer, director, creator, producer. So coming into Byron, you're playing a whole lot of female characters. Nine. Nine. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, what's it been like to play that? Like drawing on all those nine characters. Like you know, where you're finding the inspiration. Well, for me, it's always about finding their truth and finding their integrity as characters, so that uh, when you see them, you get an immediate connection. Uh, I'm avoiding any sort of caricature or two-dimensional. I, I feel like George is so naturally funny and, and charismatic on stage that I, even though there are moments of comedy for me, I, I very much feel that I need to be solid as almost the straight guy, but that I... I but the straight woman. The straight woman. But create, uh, create a... Uh, a sense of truth for where the comedy can really sing. And who are some of these uh, women, female characters that you're playing? Like, is it someone that you know we, we identify with? No. Well, absolutely. I mean, I play Byron's mother mm. from young to very old. Yeah. I uh, I play various girlfriends. Uh, I play uh, just you know his waxing woman, <laughs> and they have a really. They have a really interesting exchange over the theme of divorce. I play uh, a, a woman. His sister. His sister. My gosh. Yeah, I play his sister who has completely done the, you know, she's subverted the expectations of what a good Greek girl is supposed to do. I mean, yes, she goes and she's a very uh, high power corporate lawyer, but she's not married and she's completely happy with that. She's child free. So she's, she's which is complete opposite to the stereotype of what we see Greek women represented. Yeah, yeah. yeah which is good. And would you say that has that this show sort of breaks some of those stereotypes that we've seen in the past? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think it goes behind the whole, you know, Greek, you know, grandma with the black. It goes behind their lives, and you know, if you ever really sit down and talk with your parents, you kind of don't really you have no idea what they've experienced and when they do reveal some of that stuff you go how did i not know this yeah so i know there's a bit in the play where byron talks about finding out about who his mum was yes when he goes back to greece and yeah. finds out she was a little rascal that didn't yes. like school and and uh he only saw his mum as this strict yes. you know organized demanding controlling whereas as a child she was you know, complete, you know. Now, talking about playing a lawyer, you wanted to be a lawyer but became an actor. Well, it's not that I wanted to become a lawyer. I got into law. I mean, I did the whole thing, you know, where I, I, I did study hard uh, and uh, I got into law, but I was... any regrets? Same time. Yeah. <laughs> so some of the things in the play look particularly at the role of women in Greek families. Yeah. How do you feel about portraying such a personal subject matter? Well, th that, that gives an extra level of responsibility for me as an actor to make sure that they're given integrity. And so that, that, that very much is about finding their truth and also their authenticity, but also being able to sort of step back and think about, well, how can I connect this to the amazing Greek women that I've met in my life? Mm. Yeah. So now tell me, you personally, you've got two... Aging parents? 
Yes. Your dad, your dad's, you know, in the 80s and mum's yep. close by. And has the play brought up thoughts? Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, I, I had a, a conversation with my mum the other night about my ideal would be that they eventually move in with me. And, uh, but, but not in a way that, you know, we're all in one house, that we're in a dual living because I know my parents are very independent and they would want their own space. So that would be a fantastic thing if we could have, especially two kitchens because... Like a granny flat is what I think you're saying. Yeah, but I, I think that they, that the things are designed differently these days and mm. that you can have uh, an, an inner dual living complex. So that would be great. And what do you think is going to happen to you with you? You've got two daughters. Yeah, two beautiful do daughters. Do you reckon they will um, look after you when you're aging? Or do you reckon they'll just um, place you in... A hole. A care. Let's not call it a hole. It's care. I don't know. No, nah, because some of these places are great. You know, Obviously, there's places that aren't as great. But uh, there's a lot of the care facilities which I think people benefit from and enjoy. So, but more to the point, what do you think your two lovely daughters would do with you when you're, you know, cranky, old, not coping? Well, that's me now, isn't it, <laughs> girls? <laughs> uh, All right. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I spoke to Olivia before. She said no, a couple of years, maybe ten years. And she said. Ten. Ten, she said to me. Anyway, that's enough of Maria Theodorakis. <laughs> not related to Mickey Theodorakis, but she can sing. She can't play instruments, though. Da -da. All right, thanks. Yes.